Hi and welcome back. Messaging apps are convenient, low cost, and effective as marketing and communication tools in advertising, communicating, and offering promotions and services to your audience. One of the prime examples is keeping good relationships with the customers and adding value to them. In this chapter, we'll cover key methods to fully utilize the entirety of Telegram's features to optimize and grow your business. You can upgrade normal groups to a supergroup. Supergroups can hold up to 5,000 members and be assigned up to 50 admins. There are several functions available in a supergroup, such as new members are able to see previous messages, deleted messages will disappear from every member's device, admins can pin and edit messages, and much more. Admins can also remove, block, and report members who don't follow the ground rules of the group. They can also block and report those who spam the group with irrelevant content. Mentions, hashtags, replies, and search are features that are useful for easier navigation and handling large groups of people. You can even mention any members of the group by typing at, and then their alias, and select the recipient's name, even if you don't have their username. You can also save time when searching for old messages by typing the keywords in search, and the keywords will be highlighted in the messages. Hashtags can be used to get instant search results just by typing in the pound sign or hashtag before the word, and it becomes clickable. As an easy reference, you may select to reply to any message so that everyone knows which message you're referring to. You can also quickly go through the original message just by tapping on the quote. Channels are just one of the features that would be very beneficial to your business. By setting it up, you're able to disseminate relevant information quicker and easier. This makes channels a great marketing tool because it can be used to introduce special offers, new product launches, or even send newsletters. You also have the choice to make your channel private, and this makes loyal customers feel more privileged by getting firsthand and early information on special pricing and bonuses. Using Telegram bots can reduce expenses on hiring staff and reduce human error. You'll also be able to optimize the salaries paid out to your employees by having them do more important tasks for the business, like selling or paying more attention to customers. You have a wide variety of bots to choose from in the attachment menu, either to send images or documents, accept payments, get your location, and much more. Several bots such as at pollbot and at alertbot can be used in your business account to conduct polls and to set reminders for important events. You may even create your own customized bot. Remember that for any business owner, your time is precious and how you spend it would determine the success or failure of the business in most cases. Believe it or not, some business owners fall into the trap of working in their business instead of on their business. This makes them focus on the operational side instead of the big picture and direction of the business. So in this case, Telegram actually helps you to focus on the important tasks and leave the rest to bots. That's it for optimizing your business with Telegram. I'll see you in the next video. Hi and welcome back. Telegram is one of the top free messaging apps preferred as a daily chat app. Any form of misdirection or incorrect usage could have severe consequences not just for yourself but to your business and to your customers as well. And this becomes a top concern for business owners. This is why policy, security, privacy and other features are provided so that all of us can get the best experience of the messaging service. The following are 10 types of misconduct that you should avoid at all costs on Telegram. Number one. Heavy discussions that need tough decisions. Apart from connecting people, messaging apps are used to get quick and urgent replies as the messages are sent and received in real time. So when it comes to work-related topics that require quick decisions, the recipients are expected to reply the messages ASAP. However, when it comes to deeper and longer discussions, which can't be decided over a short period of time, it should be discussed via email or a face-to-face -face meeting. All of the important documents should be attached in an email thread so that everyone can keep track of the progress. To use a messaging app as a corporate email would just make things very inefficient. Number two, having a long conversation. There are people who just love to chat casually without any real direction. This makes the other members of the group distracted by the frequent notifications coming in and severely reduces productivity. It'll steal lots of your time and other people's time just to check on unimportant messages. You know that in this digital age, those who are frequently on their smartphones have been conditioned to check their phones every once in a while. To address this, you can put notifications on mute or ignore the messages, 
but there is always that itchy feeling to check or even the fear of missing out on the conversation. Number three, reading without replying. Messaging apps are used to get immediate replies, so leaving people hanging, especially when you have read the message, is considered rude. So the best way is, if you have your hands full or you're busy at that moment, just reply that you'll get back to them when you can. Remember, better late than never. Do your best to reply to the message accordingly, and be professional and efficient in serving your customers. Number four, moving on to the next topic without finishing the current one. When someone comes up with a topic, let's say topic A, it's advised to not interrupt and start on a new topic. The previous topic needs to have a conclusion, to be closed or have a specific action points before moving to the next one. This is because topic A might be an important matter that needs immediate attention or a quick decision, but can't get the required attention if the discussion goes off course. Number five, having an A to B conversation in the group. As chat groups are shared amongst all members of the group, everyone would appreciate if the topics or conversations spoken about are relevant to the entire group. In this situation, what it means is a conversation that happens between two or three people. If they're talking about something else that's related only to them, it's advised for them to take it to another chat group with only them in it or meet up in person. People will tend to be annoyed if individuals start spamming the group with unrelated messages, and this would encourage people and your customers to exit the group. But surely they won't do that if the group is important. So, for example, they receive important promotions or offers. Number six, revealing PNC information of yours or others. Even though you're in a group where you know all participants, it's advisable not to reveal any private and confidential information online. There's always a risk that your account could be hacked by a third party, or there might be someone who will take this opportunity to sell the information to third parties. Doesn't matter how many times you've updated the app to the latest version with the upgraded security and privacy features, or how well you know the person, it's always important to practice good security. Just be careful. Number seven, unaware of the words spoken. Choice of words is important, and in the case of a messaging app, there is no tone of voice communicated, no sarcasm filter. Unless you send a voice message where the recipient listens to it, messaging apps have no tone of voice. It's worth repeating. This can sometimes create misunderstandings when the words read are misinterpreted as something else and taken out of context. Even simple words like hello with a question mark can be taken as the person being angry or displeased. So take note on the tone that you're using so that people won't read your messages wrongly and the purpose you're texting should be understood by everyone as you want to deliver the right message to the right recipients. Number eight, sending or asking for superfluous information. As business owners, we face situations where we will have difficult customers and ever hear the saying, the customer's always right? Well, I don't really subscribe to it because it puts us business owners in a situation where we can be severely taken advantage of by customers, especially in the case of a messaging app where there's almost zero face-to-face -face conversation. It's easy for people to start asking about sensitive and personal issues. This crosses the line and is off topic. Take, for example, if customer service becomes too friendly with customers to the point where they start talking about things that are outside of work. While it's good to connect with our customers, there should always be a professional boundary drawn between business and customer. Number nine, ignoring the privacy policy. As Telegram is an open source platform, anyone can study the API, protocol, and source code. From sharing data, storing data, to deleting data, these matters should not be taken for granted, as you should know whether your data stored in history are safe from third parties. Be advised. Telegram never shares your data with anyone. Every data is stored with encryption on the server, and whenever you delete messages, they'll be deleted from history and permanently deleted when your partner agrees to delete the message as well. Telegram always asks your permission before syncing your contacts. There are several precautionary steps that can be taken in avoiding unnecessary information leakage, and these steps are covered earlier in secret chats and the self-destructing messages, a two-step verification, uh, etc but always be careful. Number 10, presence of illegal content and infringement of copyright. 
All chats and group chats are private among their participants. Telegram doesn't process any requests related to them. If you find sticker sets, though, or bots that you think are illegal, please do ping Telegram at abuse at telegram.org. On the other hand, if you see a bot, channel, or sticker set that infringes your copyright, kindly submit complaints to dmca at telegram.org. Please note that only the copyright owner or any agent authorized to take action on the owner's behalf can submit DMCA takedown requests. Telegram will execute necessary legal checks and will take down the content if it is viewed as inappropriate. So what does all this mean? We covered the 10 misconducts as a guide for you as a business owner because communication is important. You may be using Telegram to connect and engage with your customers, or you may even use Telegram to run your business by communicating with your staff. Both ways still deal with communication. To manage this, it's always good to set ground rules and the context of the group chat or channel at the very beginning. This is to ensure that people act and communicate accordingly, and disregarding the rules would result in them being kicked out or banned from a group, and they'll know this clearly from the beginning. This concludes this video on Telegram's rule of thumb. I'll see you in the final video. Hey, and welcome back. Today's technology can be used to maximize your business productivity as messaging apps such as Telegram help to deliver messages faster and to send to a mass audience simultaneously. There are several ways to make money with Telegram, and I'll be covering the most exciting part of this video training, which is how to use Telegram to generate revenue for your business. Business coaching via Telegram is an opportunity, as it gives you the opportunity to engage and connect with your clients. Setting up group chat saves time, as coaching groups of participants makes things effective, as you can reach up to 5,000 people. It also saves money when you can communicate wherever you are without the need to travel. In addition, files of different types can be shared and received up to a maximum size of 1.5 gigabytes each and the cross-platform availability makes Telegram an extremely powerful and flexible communication tool. If you know what your profit per hour or per day is as a business owner, consider that when you're using Telegram. Time saved equals money well spent on other more important matters like strategy meetings or sales calls. Apart from creating groups, there's also a feature called Channel which you have covered earlier that can be used for broadcasting your messages to mass audiences. You can either set the channel private or public or invite people to join the channel by sending them an invitation link. How you want to use it is like this. Let's say you want to launch a new product or a service. So what you do is you email or communicate out the Telegram channel for people to join. In your communication, you can mention that the details will only be revealed on Telegram. And if they join the channel, they'll be able to receive insider-only promotions and exclusives. Create a campaign around it and make it viral and irresistible to take up the offer. That way, what happens is that you'd start building your customer database and creating engagement with your customers. This one compared to traditional advertising on newspaper, radio, or TV is way cheaper and much more flexible. It also makes the quality and targeting of your customers better as it pre-qualifies them. For example, let's say you're doing a launch on a new makeup set. The people joining your channel or group would of course be ladies that are interested in the product and not just some random person. This makes the participants of the group more targeted and the quality of conversations and engagement that happen in the group would also be higher. Also your cost per customer is lowered when you're using Telegram because it's highly targeted. You can also consider upselling high-ticket products to your first-time buyers after their initial investment by building a list. You heard that right. That's the whole idea of building a list, right? Internet is where people are actively seeking for solutions to their problems, and these buyers are more realistic and less demanding as they're looking on the value of the products. By having the contacts of these people, it's an advantage for you to reach them as long as you're promoting something that you know offers great value to the buyers. Via Telegram, you're able to have quick interactions with these people and persuade them to purchase the products offered, conducting surveys to discover the gap of the market and getting feedback on the products. All these can help to maintain good relationship with the clients besides improving on the sales as well. 
URL shortening is the unnoticed gem in digital marketing as it gives you many benefits such as making it more manageable, improving the customer experience, encouraging sharing, and increasing brand awareness and generating site traffic. Short URLs also develop tracking and help you measure your effectiveness. How you can earn money via URL shortening is you get paid by each link clicked by the visitors. An intermission ad will be displayed for five seconds and you're paid for having that visitor see the advertisement. With Telegram, you're able to share shortened URLs with trending topics and get paid per click. And you'll earn more when you join groups which contain more members and more earning when they share the links and become your referrals. Paper download networks or PPD networks are platforms that allow you to earn money with your files by locking it with an advertisement or survey before people download it. Every time someone tries to access your file, they need to answer a survey or fill up the form before they can download. Telegram helps get more downloads by generating more traffic when you share links where you find the file is related and suits the interests of the people you shared the links with. So when you have a good record and experience in making money, you'll be able to join more PPD networks as there are sites that are picky in accepting new members.